Welcome everyone in another CryEngine tutorial video about my menu system. I'm Fury22 and today we're gonna continue with that stuff. Like in previous video, obviously um, go and check um, the de design GUI website where which gathers all of the community tutorials. This is gonna be organized website at the moment is still being built, but um, if you go in here, designguis.com, community tutorials, and you're gonna have organized um, tutorial videos. At the moment, we have UI videos over here. That's all my videos about the material system and stuff. So go and check the website. It's gonna be very cool when when we finish developing it. So um, yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do today? We're gonna start. Obviously, if you, as you remember from the previous video, we finished working on the flash. We did see very very basic uh, inv uh, not inventory system it was called mind menu system. And in this video, we're going to go to our project. Um, yeah, our project solutions, and we're gonna start implementing this mind menu system in C plus plus. That's gonna be quick and and simple, really simple. And again, as you remember in my previous video, we already created the over here. This is my menu flash, and we have my menu XML, which is uh, the element file that is having our function and and events. We're gonna leave it over here because we are going to need the you know names of the functions and and events. So good to have them over here still open let's give me a few seconds so the visual studio will initialize itself mm, prepare the solution and stuff and this is gonna be really simple and easy n unlike invent uh, inventory system yeah, there it is, still initializing, but you already got this on the screen, so... Mm, just wait a little longer. Okay, come on! Go on, motherfucker. Uh, I should remember this whole code over here is our inventory system code. Add item and stuff. So I'm still working on the same C++ project, which I'm gonna continue to do. So probably this is gonna end up as some simple game if I keep keep doing the tutorials for you, working on the same project. We already have inventory system implemented, so we might have a mine menu <laughs> in a bit. So. <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be like creating game, but not on purpose. So, okay. Um, in order to do that, we have to find where actually CryEngine is opening the map, and this is in game plugin CPP. That's the line that is calling console uh, the console variable, um, and it's calling map and it gives the map name. If I run the the game now this code would pretty much just simply oh wait, you're giving me some error in the <laughs> I don't know why is it giving me some errors over here I have no idea, absolutely no idea. I've never, I haven't changed anything since the last video about inventory system, so that should actually work. It worked. Oh yeah, actually, CryEngine did made some update for 5.3, just some minor one. But since then, yeah, it throws some errors about. Um, Yeah, that's it. Okay, I compiled the code. Sorry about that. It just okay. Um, so in game plugin, this line 
is actually opening the map. If I comment this out, the map will be not called at all. I'm gonna show you that in a while. So I'm gonna just run the game now. Simply run the whole game. <laughs> Come on, little shit. It'll take a little while because obviously. Wow, well, nice! It's been already five minutes and thirty seconds of the video, and I haven't even started with this. Okay, nice. Okay, it is running our game with the map I loaded. You could do also the map that Crytek prepared, but. Why would you do? Why would you want this? I know it's taking long, but um, God, I hate my computer. All right, something is happening. All right, yeah, that's it. So we got even sorry system as before. Obviously, I'm just bragging. Um, okay, so if. This this line is pretty much if you change the map name over here, it will just load different map. Mm, I'm just gonna comment this out so this line will be not read by the code. So I'm gonna run the game now and see you're gonna see what happens. Uh huh. See. Game is already being has been loaded, but um, nothing happens. It's dark screen, nothing. You could put uh, something similar that you got over there. It's called uh, it's console variable map test one. This is my map, or you could call example. I believe it was called example. This is the Crytek map. If you remember this, Crytek map. Okay. So we already know this line is pretty much loading uh, our character into game world and creating game world at all. So instead of calling this, we want to actually <coughs> show our inventory on the screen. So I should remember our inventory. Uh, sorry, not inventory. Mind menu. I know. Okay, mind menu. It was called just simple mind menu. So let's do it. UI. Oh yeah, it's not gonna work now. You have to include also. Flash UI that H. So now we can start with it. So we got UI uh, element. Let's call it uh, mine menu. Oh, it's pointer. So it'd be mine menu. Uh, G environment flash UI element mine menu. Good. We got menu now if uh, p mine menu if it's true so it's not gonna crash then then um we're gonna show it on the screen so we're gonna get ui action it's gonna be show action g environment as always this is very boring stuff flash ui uh, get action and it was called mine menu show right am i correct it was called mine menu show yeah so um we got this so if the action is shown is found then we're gonna go with ui uh, manager action manager then we're gonna be manager and then g environment i know it's very boring stuff flash ui get manager that's it so now if p manager i'm just checking all of this so i don't want this to crash so if everything is fine then we're going to show the invent uh, the mine menu on the screen so we're going to go with the p manager start action uh, p show oh yeah and you have to put there also mine menu. 
good let's see what happens so instead of loading map this is gonna load my mine menu over here notice that this is only when it's not editor so in an editor mine menu it's not gonna work you could remove this then it would it probably would work but I'm not sure what would be the effect of this um, the editor is completely different stuff so we got our buttons over here as you can see and but we have no labels on this and we have no uh, name of the actual game so what we're going to do now we're gonna grab our element p mine menu uh, okay call function I should remember function was over here but it's not everything what we gotta do now we have to change it slightly we got parameters but I don't remember how to put them I always f keep forgetting about this so just bear with me a moment um, 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 um. come on yeah there it is so we're gonna grab we're gonna put the um, more parameters so we got to remove slash from here and what you gotta do here you have to end this node so it's gonna be function good see that's the beginning that's the end so it has parameters it had three parameters as I remember it was called game name and this was string all of them were string actually so type string everywhere and the second one was btn1 and btn2 that's all this function was called initialize menu I should remember this is just from flash initialize menu and it has arguments so we're gonna use it but first of all sui arguments um, arguments an argument uh, 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 this is gonna be string so our game name will be my like tutorial game right so yeah another argument will be uh, string and we will this is button number one so let's go start game and the last argument will be string as well uh, exit and now this we're gonna pass this to the function so let's see what now it should show tutorial game on the top then first button should have label starts game and exit game the, the last one so let's see what what it does yeah <coughs> See if it has what we want it to have. Yeah, that's it. You can change the game name or whatever you want. Uh, so what we gotta do now? We have no functionality for these buttons. So I'm gonna finish the video at this point, and we're gonna begin from the same point later in the next video. So, so yeah. Um, see you in the next video.